Hey, it took me a while to get my phone off mute. How you doing, sir? No, I'm good. I'm blessed and highly favored, just like you. <laughs> you look like it. Amen, amen. Hey, Lizette. Hi, how are good. you? <laughs> yeah, hey, amen. Good morning. Hey, I loved your um, uh, that segment your son did the other day with uh, Borat. That was funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Gerald, it's funny. Um, we just operate under the impression that nobody's listening. So when we meet people, especially important, influential people that not only listen, but they like, they catch some of the stuff we do, it embarrasses us. I'm like, oh, you saw that? Or, oh, you heard that? Like, it's very intimidating when people actually listen to us. I gotta be honest. That's awesome. Yeah, I love that. I was just, I was dying. <laughs> he freaks out too when um, so we put him on the air a few times and we kind of incorporate him in the show often. Um, and so when people bring up things to him or they're like, oh my God, that's a black Spider-Man. We heard you all morning. He, he's like, what? Like, that's, <laughs> you listen to me? <laughs> that's important though. And I, I'm glad he likes to be engaged. He likes to be involved. Um, you're, you're a wonderful mother. A lot Thank of people you. follow your, your post and see your passion, your love for him. So I salute you and, um, yeah, we need more people like that. So thank you for, for being who you are to him. Thank you. He also doesn't have a choice because I make him. <laughs> I'm his mom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gerald Smiley, let me jump into this right away. Uh, you stay loyal to the soil. You're a Northwest kid, born and raised. I grew up in White Center, uh, went to Rainier Beach High School, graduated there. And um, yeah, but I live out here in Lake Taps area. When you were growing up in White Center, was the roasted corn truck there or did that come by later? I, I think that was later. I, I, don't, I don't really Have recall. Have you been? Have you yeah, been yet? Yeah. No, I haven't, but I see that line through the roof every day. Yeah. It's so good. And then like right on the other side of the parking lot is the taco truck. Yep, yep. Yeah. So good. That's funny. We did a story, I can't remember what it was. It was months ago. And when this turkey drive for the Federal Way School District came back or came up, I'm like, you know what? I remember talking about your platform, your program, Chip In, and here he is again doing it again for the community. So I guess that's where you heard us talking about the Turkey Drive for Federal Way School District. Is that still going on? It goes on till this weekend, right? Yeah, yeah, it does. And I appreciate you guys, even first and foremost, Karen, and um, thanks for having me on the show today. Greatly appreciated. Yeah, um, it's a team effort, you know. Um, we, we launched in July the, the platform. It's an online fundraising platform that raises funding and capital for all communities. Um, but also we validate for-profit and non-profit organizations um, who would like to use our platform and raise funds, but also align their brand with organizations in the community that they would like to support. And what we did is we, we really locked arms with the Federal Way School District, Dr. Campbell, the superintendent, and we launched our first initiative around the laptops and the community just showed some massive um, respect. That's what it was. It was the laptops. Yeah. That's right. When the, when the um, remote learning you know, took over everything. It was the laptops you guys were getting. That's right. To date so far, we raised a little bit over $45,000 um, for the wow. school district to offset their $3 million uh, levy that they weren't budgeting for one-to-one -one ratio for their laptops. And then we, we, we really spiraled and locked arms with the mayor of Renton, um, the Chamber of Commerce of Renton, to help support uh, the small businesses uh, stay afloat during this pandemic. The CARES Act only has so much funding. Mm -hmm. So we really put a cry uh, to the community um, to say, hey, how do we create a public funded, our own CARES Act funding through the public and help support these local businesses? And then we advanced to some others, but really, um, after speaking with Dr. Campbell and learning um, over 67% of the students in the Federal Aid School District on free and uh, reduced lunch program, mm -hmm. that really touched my heart because I was one of those children in White Center with my mom. And I remember going to the food banks and just, you know, sometimes mom robbing Peter to pay Paul, you know, and this time of year, um, not just because we're in a pandemic, but everyone needs food, right? It's a necessity and it's a struggle for some and it's a um, it's an honor for most who don't have to struggle. So mm -hmm. it just really touched me to say, hey, let's let's get the community around this and let's show these kids we appreciate them and their families for how hard they've been working through this pandemic and listening to the principals and the teachers um, validate how hard they've been working at home. So how do we reward them as a community? And let's be honest, Gerald, with uh, with a lot of people being financially insecure because of furloughs and shutdowns and everything, the food bank is a new experience for a lot of people, a lot of people who never, ever thought that they would need to utilize that. They're at the food bank. I volunteered several times with my fiance, just 
under the radar, under the radar. just out there on the weekend. And it's amazing all the first time people who are showing up at food banks now. Hey man, you're spot on. And again, I appreciate you and your fiance for caring and um, being selfless and, and, and helping. It is a new experience for a lot of people and it's an uncomfortable experience for a lot of people. But I challenge everyone to not feel stupid, dumb or embarrassed if you need help. Um, that's what the community is for. We actually just launched one the other day um, with Helping Hands Food Bank in Skagit Valley, okay. um, try, trying to raise $50,000 for them. Um, the massive growth of the amount of families that they have to feed and the struggles that are real. So um, people who need help, you know, don't feel embarrassed to go to your food bank in a time of need yeah. um, or any other things in your life as far as resources, depression, um, you know, suicidal thoughts, um, whatever it is, like, don't be afraid to go get help. There's people out there in the world who want to help you. And Chip In is designed to bring people around people who want to help and then help find those individuals uh, without embarrassing them. There's 40 million people that live in poverty, Strawberry, mm -hmm. and they would love a platform that you didn't have to post on your Facebook yeah. to, tell the, to tell the world you need financial help for something. So Chip In, we're really building that. We've locked arms with a company called Doxa out of Redmond. They're high-level Microsoft uh, software architects that left in 2008 and said, let's go find the next um, Bill Gates, if you will, or the, the next startup company that solves problems in the market. I don't take any credit for this. Um, I, I give all glory to God and I give all glory to the people in the community who support the vision of us just putting technology around servant leadership. That's really what we're doing. I think it's so awesome that you are that shoulder that people can lean on in times of uncertainty, whether it's with, you know, this remote schooling, with the small businesses, with the holidays coming up, people just needing food. Like I was that person that was like on WIC. I was on food stamps. Like it is hard. I mean, it is so hard just to survive. So to not make it an embarrassing thing or something to be ashamed of, or I have too much pride to go get this assistance or to go get help. Like, I think just to understand everyone is struggling right now and it's okay to ask for help and it's okay to reach out and it's okay to accept the help Amen. right now. It's so important. I mean, and, and, and I really want to highlight what you just said. It's important to be okay with receiving the help. That's the most important piece, mm -hmm. right? Because being uncomfortable is the first situation of, of the fear that sets in. Um, but if we can eliminate that fear, false evidence appearing, we say, wow, there is people who want to help me. Um, and just letting your guard down for that acceptance. I think the universe can do a lot of amazing things for anyone's life if you're able to do that. We are launching uh, in December our statewide scholarship program. Um, each county will know coming to our platform, you have a trusted platform with transparency that you can give to and the children in that county when they are in need of their scholarships your money stays in that county with those individuals and um, and reward those donors who give that's what shipping is um, we reward donors um, we want to allow businesses to align their brand and give offers to people in the community who help other people in need mm -hmm. uh, and then for businesses the benefit of chipping is really um, increasing your marketing ROI, your, your, your sponsorships and partnerships, um, but aligning your brand and strengthening your brand as the leader you already are in the community by your community engagement and then um, chip in really highlighting your social impact of all the good you're doing in the community as well. We're just strategic and we think outside the box. We have a powerful team, our board directors and uh, advisors. We brought on Nate Burleson, former Seahawk, that's an advisor to chip in. Um, NFL ambassador, uh, Seahawk, Joe Tafoya, um, Mark McLemore, you name it. We're just bringing people to the table who care. And you see a lot of organizations where um, they say they care, but they don't really do the work as doers. And then there's a lot of them who do care and they do do the work and they are the doers. So those are the ones that we lock arms with to say, hey, how do we help leverage your story with technology as well? I like the fact that Chip In as a platform has an assistance component as well as a donation component, a revolving door. Yeah, you need help, you can come to Chip In. You want to help, come to Chip In. So for the people listening and watching right now, no matter what side of that door or spectrum they're on, you want to direct them to the website right now so if people uh, are, want to check it out for the first time, they can go ahead and do it? Yeah, I would love that. They can visit chip-in.co. Again, that's chip 
dash in dot co. I grew up, you know, listening to Q93 as a kid. I remember seven at seven. Remember? Yeah, and, uh, yeah that was awesome. Couldn't wait to get to seven o'clock. Uh, <laughs> put in your put in put in your cassette tape, and you have. Yeah. You could record over it. Remember, you had to put the little uh, pieces of paper through the two holes, or the tape, yeah. over the, or the tape over the top to record it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was awesome. But yeah, um, we would love to lock arms with you again because you guys care and you guys yeah. are doers, and our platform literally um, um, has some very unique things that we can talk about offline of um, how we can really expand um, your reach of what you're trying to do. We've partnered with World Vision as well on this. Um, um, this effort for the turkey giveaway mm -hmm. and um, they're also delivering 200 food boxes um, next Monday with us to the kids in, in the Federal High School District and they have 550 um, PPE kits and school kits that they're bringing um, headsets for kids who are, are learning remote um, to, to get rid of the distraction in their home so they can focus and stay locked in so we're grateful for the partnership with them too we'll become that new engine that people come to for support and um, helping one another and that's just what our, our world is about and I, I feel like we really got away from that there's a lot of division in our country and if we can just understand we the people are the community and we're stronger together without bashing anybody but let's stick together here's a trusted community portal that we can support one another with that's our mission and the minimum wage out here is 1325 that was the number uh for the turkey drive that you threw out there like hey minimum wage 13 dollars 25 cents an hour if people can just donate that one hour of minimum wage you know we, we can get these people in the uh, federal way school district uh fed i like that tie-in with the minimum wage and hey just donate an hour is there still time when's the cutoff for people to donate on chip in for the turkey drive in federal way did we miss the cutoff no no you did not miss the cutoff and uh, appreciate that it's uh this sunday evening is the cutoff but yeah when you touched on that state minimum wage that's going to become a real thing with our platform in every state every county every city because it's affordable a lot of people cringe when they hear that word donate we don't, we don't want you to break your savings account to help someone else in need. That's why we called it chip in. You can chip in $1 and still have a sense of pride of helping your community and connecting them through crowd, um, through crowdsourcing of people sticking together. $1 adds up to a lot. And that's, that was our, that was our mission also with the uh, rent and stronger project for, to save their businesses. They have over 104,000 residents. If 50,000 people went to chip-in.co that lived in Renton and found their pot and just gave 1350 one time, that's over $675,000 if 50,000 people did that. Their ask is 500000 so they can save the businesses. These businesses are, are, are hurting in this new governor lockdown right now that we're in. A lot of people went home the other night, and I don't know. I just pray every night for the families that are struggling. Um, and I pray for those who aren't. And my call to action to the community is find something that you care about in this time. And if you're able to do that, just do what you can. And um, it's like that construction building a construction worker puts up. He or she tells her, her, her son or daughter, wow, I helped build that, right? There's a sense of pride that came with that accomplishment. The same way, if I just did $1, wow, look at all the businesses we helped save. Look at the lives we helped fed it's that same sense of pride strawberry i'm so happy that we touch base and and i'm proud of you for what you're doing for the community out here uh you're trying to hide it but i see that huge ring on the camera that thing is a monster <laughs> that thing is a monster you're funny yeah. <laughs> hey let's stay in touch and uh i appreciate your time gerald and uh everybody uh go to chip-in.co do what you can even if you just take some time to poke around the website to see uh what's available for you uh i really do want to uh, highlight this platform i appreciate your time thank, thank you so you. much likewise thank you strawberry thank you lizette i got one request before we hop off of here please never let anybody ruin your day today tomorrow nor ever I love that. I love that. Yeah, strawberry, hear that? Stop ruining my day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll talk. We'll talk soon, man. I'll see you later. God, God bless you. Thank you so much. It's the Wake Up Show with Strawberry and Lizette Love on Cube 93.3.